The Eurostar snaking its way out of London today. We are accustomed to the ease of travel between the UK and Europe, but now suddenly many of those links are being closed. It was the Dutch who acted first, banning flights from the UK just hours after Boris Johnson had introduced tougher new restrictions on many parts of the country and revealing the gravity of a new variant of the coronavirus. And where the Netherlands led, others have followed. Belgium came next, curtailing air and rail links. That mutation could be an additional problem. Scientists today are not quite sure what the impact could be, so I think we should be careful. Once we have more information, we'll see if we should extend or extend that measure. But right now, you can't be too careful. And in the wake of that announcement, a rush for Christmas travellers to change plans so they could get back to Britain before the ban took effect. It's just everything changing at last minute. It's so frustrating because you... It's just, honestly, I feel like I'm just tired of it. But, you know, I'm lucky to be able to go home. I'm going back to my fiancé. So I had to study in Belgium for uh, a few months. So I was here. But then, yeah, trying to get back as soon as possible now. My colleague texted saying that they changed the rules. The Prime Minister had announced a change. And I, che I checked the website. It was no trains. I checked it ten minutes later got a train, so I've not seen my mum since January. Capacity on the service back to London was increased today, so more people could get home before trains stop running. And it isn't just Belgium that has responded. As the day progressed, more and more countries cut their travel links with the UK. All European governments watch the Prime Minister's address, and as they listen to the impact of this new variant of Covid, they reacted with fear. Italy was the next to impose restrictions, but the list is growing. These bans will be revised over the coming days. Nobody knows how long they'll last, but for the moment, continental Europe is wary and turning a cold shoulder to visitors from the UK.